let's learn the most common suffixes. A suffix is a letter or group of letters added to the end of a word to form a different word. It's important to know suffixes because they change the meaning of words. We are going to go through the four most common suffixes that account for about 97% of the words that have suffixes. They are ed, ing, ly, and s or es. We will look at ed first. The suffix ed is often added to verbs. Verbs are words that show an action. A verb might be walk, clap, smell, or paint. It's something that we do. So when we add the suffix ed, it means past tense, like it already happened. So these verbs would be walked, clapped, smelled, and painted. Now, do you notice that they say different sounds at the end? walked, smelled, and painted. The ed suffix makes three sounds. id, d, and t. Let's see some examples. Clean is our base word, and it can be a verb. You might clean your room, but maybe you already did it. It's past tense. Then you would add the suffix ed to make it cleaned. That makes the d sound. Now we have the word cook, but you already did that, so the word would be cooked with the t sound. Lastly, we have need. If we add ed, then we get needed, id. Remember, suffixes are added to base words. So although these words end in ed, bed and need would not have the ed suffix because the sounds before the ed don't make a standalone word. Bed just has a b, that's not a word, and need just has an n and an e, that's not a word. Now another common suffix is ing or ing and this is also used with verbs a lot of times, but instead of meaning past, like ed, it means present, right now. So here's the base word think. So if you're doing that right now, we would add ing and say thinking. Let's look at another example, run. It's happening right now, so our word would be running. Here we add an extra N because there's a short U vowel. If we have the base word work and we mean it's happening right now, we could add ING and we would get working. Now let's look at the third suffix, LY or LI. The suffix LI often turns an adjective into an adverb. Let me show you what I mean. Here the child is sad. Sad is an adjective. It describes a noun or tells us what something or someone is like. When we add li to the word sad, we get sadly. So now sadly is an adverb, which means that it describes a verb. So do you notice how there's an ad, like an adjective, and then the word verb? So adverbs describe verbs. I know that's a little confusing. But here you see that the word went from sad to sadly. The child sat sadly on the swing. How did he sit? Sadly. Let's look at a few Lee words. Here our base word is slow. When we add Lee, it turns into slowly. How is the snail moving? Slowly. If we add Lee to the base word nice, we get nicely. How are they working? Nicely. Lastly, we have brave. When we add Lee, we get bravely. He is bravely climbing that mountain. Our last suffix is the one that you might not have realized is even a suffix. It's S and ES. 
When you add s or es, that often turns a noun plural, meaning more than one. There are also times when the word is a verb, and when you add an s suffix, then it means the same as ing, meaning now. You probably have noticed that there's s and then there's also es. Sometimes we add es instead of just an s to a word. We do that when a word ends in an s, sh, ch, x, or z. So you would add an es to words like hatches, fizzes, passes, or wishes. Because it just doesn't work to just add the s sound. You have to make it is. Let's look at a few other examples. So here we have dog. We want it to be plural or more than one. So we add an s and we get dogs. Dress, we want more than one, we get dresses. So here's where we add the es because of that s. And finally, we have toy. We want more than one, so we add the suffix s and we get the word toys. Now, let's check and see how you match up suffixes to make new words. I'm gonna show you a base word and tell you what's happening with that word. You name the suffix that you think should be on that word and see if you're correct. Flash. What suffix should we add if it already happened? Flashed. E-D. Plant. What suffix should we add to mean we're doing it right now? Planting. If you said plants, it's also correct. Fox. What suffix makes this word mean more than one? Foxes. It's the ES because it ends with an X. Clear. Which suffix should we add to mean that you saw something this way? Clearly. Rare. Which suffix goes with this word? Rarely. Firework. Which suffix do you add to mean more than one? Fireworks. Jump. Which suffix makes it mean you already did it? Jumped. Read. Which suffix means you're doing it right now? Reading or reads. Quick. What suffix should we add here? Quickly. Truck. Which suffix do we add to mean more than one? Truck. Loud. Which suffix should we add here? Loudly. Mix. Which suffix means that you're doing it right now? Mixing or mixes. Dance. Which suffix means that you already did that? Dance. You should do a little dance because now you know the four most common suffixes which help you understand what words mean. There are more words with these four suffixes than any other.